We talked a little bit about the French and German yield spreads. That we said you could do that. You can. You can do it at the five-year, even though it's a little thin on the French side right now. But you can do that in the five-year. You can do it in the ten-year. You can do those in a really, really close estimate today. And I'll show you that example in a little bit. There is one tiny difference in the equation, again, for the purists. We use a Muse-Miller yield for the German and the way they account for the very first period in the compounding is a little tiny different, a little tiny bit different than what the French do. But you're gonna be consistently off whether you're trying to buy it or sell it. So if you're trying to do the spread at 100 basis points, it's gonna be 100 basis points. It just may not be the perfect exact yield yet. Coming in early the first quarter, end of January-ish or so, we will have the French fully implemented for the fives and the tens in France, property yield. But right now you can do it very, very closely. And as I mentioned before, you can do the TED spreads now under the weighted average. By the end of Q1, you'll be able to do the fully analytical TED, single click, discounted cash flow, all the way up and down, properly hit. 